I'm Bobby Keys, and I'm sitting in my bedroom. I'm going to play the piano for you a little bit and talk about what drives me so hard to be a Renaissance man, to achieve beyond average so many different forms of fine art. I'm a writer, I'm a poet, I'm a painter, and I'm a musician, on top of being a Ph.D. and a CPA. I try to find value in my life in everything that I do and most of it doesn't require people because people have let me down so many times. Marriage, children, grandchildren, workmates, friends, and maybe we all just end up isolated, alone, ultimately in our graves or up in a puff of smoke over the crematory. And what do you have left to show for your life? I don't want to be just letters on a monument in a cemetery. My paintings will probably persist as family heirlooms. Hopefully some of these videos that I make will persist in a genealogical record somewhere when they wonder who was that guy. Well, here I am smiling, talking, and telling you exactly who I am. And I'm pretty damn proud of myself. Now most people would think it's very arrogant to pride yourself. Shouldn't that come from recognition by other people? I'm the other person because nobody really understands most of what I do. I have read my best poems to shrugged shoulders. I showed my best paintings to blinking eyes. And I'm going to play my piano mostly to deaf ears or at least to my cat Lacey who does like to listen to it. So it's easy to feel depressed and let down and lonely. But I've made friends with Shakespeare, Rembrandt, Ernest Hemingway, and Johann Sebastian Bach. It's almost Halloween. Today is September 26, 2022. That was the opening to Bach's famous Toccata for Organ, BWV 565. I just love that piece. Uh, I'm playing it on my Essex, my Steinway product. I just love this piano. Who doesn't love a G minor chord? Anyway, I decided to come into my bedroom to show you who I really am. When I come in here, it looks like a museum to me of wishes and wants and hopes and desires. I believe I'm a success right there is a CPA certificate that I earned in 1992 and it took my career in a whole other direction from the funeral business into eventually being vice president of finance at two major colleges making over six figures and I was able to retire at 62. Right over my head here is a self portrait that I painted myself and over there on the wall, I'll show you in a minute, is a picture of J.S. Bach that I also painted. Wishes, wants, and desires. If you're just 
stay a steady course, raise your family, work your career, have a few hobbies, and get to be an old man, what do you really have to show for it? Maybe a trophy fish on the wall, or pictures of family vacations and the kids growing up and now grandkids coming right behind them. My kids kind of just faltered for me. I don't know my grandchildren. My only success as a, uh, a child was my son Carl who became an LPM. Victor, God bless his soul, still lives with his mother. I haven't heard from him. He'll be almost 40 years old pretty soon. And Tanya, a meth addict, right hanging around with a a man who's in prison for 30 years for attempted murder. Her teeth rotted out because of drug addiction, struggling as a dishwasher in a McDonald's, living in Section 8 housing, just barely hanging on by a thread. I do love my children, but I do not love their lack of success in life. When I went to work, people had things to talk about their family and their friends and their grandchildren and I didn't have any of that really and I don't really resent it it's just that it left me lacking in a lot of respects to uh, of what to be proud about <clears throat> and I don't know if that's what drives me in all these many different directions here I play the piano there I s pursued academic uh, achievements Company with a PhD, oil painting. I've written poetry. I'm writing flash fiction now. I have a lot of different hobbies and I work at them diligently, but sometimes I wish I had that singular purpose in my life. If it hadn't been fishing or if it hadn't been pursuing family relationships. Maybe I could have just stuck with playing the piano and instead of been into it for about a year again, because I played it about 10 years ago too. Uh, I'd be a lot better at it than I am now and enjoy fruits of my labors and really have something to be proud of. <clears throat> Oil painting, I worked really hard at that. And I got okay, uh, but learning curves are steep the farther you go along and the steeper it gets. The more time it takes, the more talent that it must ring out of you. And I guess I have the fortitude for things like that. Until I look around at all my efforts to achieve the piano, academic, art. Over here in the corner, I have a double bass. Next to the piano, I've got a viola. In my closet, I've got several... Uh, bass guitars, which I learned how to play very well, quite frankly, and some six-string guitars, which I could play passably well. So I haven't sat on my ass trying to achieve success, satisfaction in my life. It's just that I've had plenty of time to do it, and it's taken me in a lot of different directions. So there's the picture of Mr. Bach right there. And this is a, a digital keyboard I use to practice when I need to be quiet. And this can be turned into a harpsichord or an organ. And that really sounds nice. So I've got the acoustic Essex over here. And then on this side I've got the electronic instrument. Uh, and I can play an organ as well. Now over here is my double bass. Look at that thing. I bought that in Houston. It was probably made in China. And it really sounds nice. It belonged to one of the Houston Symphony players. I love that thing. I can play that too, but it hurts my hands a little bit. So as you see, I can play a little Bach. I can paint a little Rembrandt. And I don't have a poem prepared to recite, although I do know some of them. The thing is, I've tried real hard. 
and I have accomplished quite a bit. And if that means I didn't have too many friends or family that was too close, well, it just really didn't matter, did it? I guess the only regret I have is that I won't live to be 500 years old or 1,000 or 10,000 years to see what's going to happen next with uh, human beings and all their hopefully fantastic accomplishments. I know since I was a boy, the space program came alive in the 1960s. We went to the moon of all places. I saw it live on TV. And then in the 70s and the 80s and the 90s and in the 90s, the internet came along. And man, that has really upended society and people all together. And I've taken full advantage of it. So now we're here at 2022, another recession. My 401k is tanked, I want you to know. But I've been through a couple of recessions in the 70s and then uh, in the right after 9-11 we had problems and then finally things came back to life and I guess I may have to wait a couple more years but it will come around again. Everything is up and everything is down. Um, when I started this, I was kind of depressed and wondering, what the fuck are you going to talk about? And then I started thinking about what I can do, what I have done. And man, I'm going to end with a smile on my face today.